What is up guys, TechRax here. So in this video, we have a Cybertruck. We are gonna be testing it out against a big puddle of water. And you guys probably didn't see, but there's a car. There's a car that was trying to cross it and it started reversing, it went back, I don't know, maybe like a foot. I don't think it's that deep to be honest, but we are gonna find out guys. I'll show you guys the side view. And I mean, look, that thing looks crazy high when it's at the most elevated level. So I think it should be no problem. Um, it says that weight mode, you can actually literally drive up to there, like up to this level right here. So yeah, that's crazy. I think we need more water if anything, but there's another area even further. We'll try that one out too. So if you go to dynamics, you go to off-road, confirm, it's actually elevating right now. There's three settings. There's high, medium, and low, and there's very high. So to enable very high, you have to go to wade mode right here, raises ride height and pressurizes battery when driving through shallow water. May take up to 10 minutes to activate and has a time limit of 30 minutes. So you could see exactly how much water you can go through. Let's activate it. All right, guys, off-road. Wade mode has been enabled for 10 minutes. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna hit drive and this is it guys. Let's see what happens. Oh snap. Ooh. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't even see what is going on, bro. Where am I going, bro? I can't see. Oh snap. Oh my goodness, bro. I was literally going way too fast. Wow. That is taking it with ease though. Oh my goodness. driving maybe 10 miles an hour. Wow. It's like built like a tank. This is nothing, guys. Literally nothing. Sheesh. Look at that. Wow. Puddle number two. Now this one is much deeper. And of course, as soon as I start recording, it starts raining again. Okay, still really nothing. Literally going through like a tank. Wow, that is crazy. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Easy money. Wow. No problem for the Cybertruck. So this puddle is definitely way deeper.
puddle number three, guys, this part is super deep. Uh, barely made it here, so we got wade mode enabled. Everything is ready to go, guys. Let's get it going. We are starting to accelerate. We're going to go a bit faster this time. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy, dude. Oh, my goodness, bro. Is insane. Bro, that is way too deep. That is way too deep. You got to get out of there, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Wow, look at that. Thing is a beast. Oh my goodness. God. Oh my goodness. Thing is going through the ocean. Made it. Literally made it. What a beast. Okay guys, the front was making a little bit of a rattling sound. You could see the little fender piece was in the way, but we popped it back in. Shouldn't be a biggie. Obviously this was like an extreme uh, flood test. Um, besides that, and the little piece here in the back, that seems like the only issue so far. So right here, there's this little plastic, plastic piece. It just kind of snapped out. Uh, but I think we're good to go guys Cyber truck survived now one quick thing. I wanted to show you guys. It's been a few hours since that water test when I press these buttons They don't seem to want to work None of the three buttons. There's a button for the tailgate to open one for the cover right here to open and one for it to close Now if I go through the phone, it does work um, So that's good news and if I use the phone to open up the tailgate that opens up and if I press the close yeah even the close button it actually was working earlier the close button none of the buttons work so that's a little bit of a bummer overall guys everything seems to be fairly normal I do hear some water swishing around there um, I'm guessing it'll kind of you know get out of there wherever it's at but overall the trunk was pretty dry the trunk was pretty dry hope you guys enjoyed that video thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out